girls on stage, harmonica, kazoo, whistle happy tune, fucking unbelievable. Bloody come on then. Well, you should have thought of that before. My over this bullshit. Protector of Fable Town, my ass. What a load of crap. Once again, don't get your hopes up. There's nothing in here that'll tell you anything. But it's a kick to the balls for me and my club, so you can be happy about that. What the hell did we hey, find? This is Lily's last entry. So tell me, Georgie, who's this Mr. Smith? Oh dear. I'm afraid it might be a fake name, Bigby. Secrecy is sort of how this all works. Even Hans knows that. What's 207? Room number? I don't fucking know. Millimeters, maybe? Don't bullshit me, Georgie. This is your book. Your girls. I'm not their fucking secretary. I give them a stage. I give them music. I provide an erotic venue to attract and retain clients. But let's be clear on something. The girls make the arrangements with their clients, not me. The girls. They're the ones with the Mr. Smiths and Joneses and Mr. X types. Whatever happens outside the club, that's on them. I log the business, take my cut, and I'm out. Now, I've had quite enough of you and your bullying. Excuse me while I call your superiors to make a complaint. <laughs> I think we need to go talk to the other lady. Hello, business office. Grab that pack of cigs, just because why not? Smoke them if you got them. Good cop, bad cop? Or just bad, bad cop? Okay, we looked at it, big deal. Can yeah, we, that's right. Can we give him the money? I feel bad. I kind of feel bad. A little bad. I want to talk to the deputy mayor. She wants to talk to Snow White. Fifty-eight. Hmm. Take the money. Take the money. One dollar bill. Anything else in there? No, not really, okay. I don't give a rat's ass about that. Just fuck off and fetch him for me, all right? Oh, it's weird how it zooms in like that. All right, let's go talk to the other lady. No, I don't was... want to. Hello? Cosmetics? Lipstick, lip gloss, compact, glitter. Okay, now we have a note. We're just gonna Faith, carry that. Thanks for covering for me tonight. Let's talk before you go over to the apartment. Lily. Looks like they both saw one of Lily's clients. So Faith covered for Lily? This thing looks like it's been busted out. Lock's been busted open. Mm-hmm. Broken open, but there isn't even a lock. Somebody was looking for something. Nothing else over there. So we're just gonna carry this buck around in our hands? Excuse me. I heard you out there. She's got the ribbon around her neck. I don't remember ever seeing you here before. I'm here now. Yes. I think Faith had the same ribbon, right? You're trying to place me. 
They used to call me the Little Mermaid. Once upon a time. Does that help? My name is Nerissa. Well, Nerissa, I've got some questions. Of course you do. I don't have answers. You'll have to find those yourself. Clever. Wordplay. I need to know about one of Lily's uh, clients. Calling himself Mr. Smith, apparently. We can't talk about work. This is a murder case. I mean, can't. These lips are sealed. Discretion is our guarantee. She was a mermaid? It's how things work here. By design. People keep using those phrases. What does it mean? This is what I need to know about. Lily's last entry. Who's Mr. Smith? Where's room 207? I have to know. These lips. Sheriff Wolf, would you like to make an appointment with me? Yes. Okay. What would I need to do? I need 150. It's not good to be short. Pay her. Give the lady all the money that we borrowed off the other criminals. I like how the one dollar bill stuck in her hand. Wait here for a second. Pudding in pie. I think that's a glitch, right? I don't think that dollar bill is supposed to be like that. You saw it clip? Two oh four. Not two oh seven. You'll think of something. The open arms. Hmm. This is where they met. Enjoy your stay. I hope you find what you're looking for. It is a weird glitch. Oh wait, maybe it's gone. Oh no, the buck is still there. The dollar bill. Yeah, I don't think the money's supposed to be there either. I agree. <laughs> if we're going to have that dollar bill the entire game? Yikes. Yeah, I don't know how long it's going to stay, but... Hello, officer. I hope it's there the entire game. It's going to stay there. Uh-oh. Oh, I think it might be gone. Oh, that was short-lived. The magic ribbon is making them not talk? Maybe. Maybe. I know, that was a short-lived uh, little dollar bill. We have to figure out how to get another dollar bill. No refunds? Ew, what kind of refund? We still got a bit of cash. Kill ya. Ha! <laughs> He's smoking? He's complaining about the cola? That was cute. The shit will kill ya. That cola. These lips are sealed. Probably repair that. No refunds. If the rooms are anything like the lobby, they should cut their rates. It's had a little bit of wear and tear. Want it by the hour or for the whole night? Oh, uh, beauty. beauty. I work here, okay? I work the front desk. It's to help pay rent. So now you know. Beauty. I know I should have told somebody, but Beast would lose his mind if you knew. Beast is a proud man, Bigby. He wants to do right by me, and he he just couldn't handle it if he knew I had to do this so we don't get evicted. 
beauty. I could honestly not care less about this. Do what you want. Yeah. All oh, right, jeez. I thought since you didn't tell Beast you saw me, you cared how I felt. But I guess not. So, what are you doing here? Oh, you have a key. Someone else was murdered last night. I heard. The victim was someone who worked at the Pudding and Pie. Lily. She, uh, come around here ever? Oh. Oh, yes. The... the troll. I did see her. I mean, you know, we never really spoke, but she came off a tad intimidating. Ever meet a girl named Faith? Or just maybe hear that name? I might have. I don't know. By the end of the night, it's, it's kind of a blur with all the names. Tara, Brandy, Amber, Heather... Sorry. Her voice sounds a little bit like Clementine. Have you seen Snow White down here? Or maybe somebody glamoured as her? You know, it's funny. I did see someone who I thought looked a lot like her, but she didn't say anything when she saw me, even though she knew that I saw her. I just assumed it wasn't Snow and went about my business. Ever see Lily with someone here? Maybe on a job? Sometimes, but nobody I've recognized. I haven't worked here that long, though. How about a room register? Or someone named Mr. Smith? <laughs> That's all we get here. Smiths, Jones, or Johnsons. I think the last ones are jokes. I Johnson. talked to Tweedledee earlier today. He mentioned you in passing. Do you know him? Or his brother? I took out a loan. For back pay. It was like our third notice. And ever since then, those annoying freaks have been pestering me for the money, plus interest. Why take out a loan from those two? It was from the crooked man. Beauty. You don't know how desperate I was, Bigby. I had nowhere else to go. Look. If this ever happens again, come see me or Snow first, all right? I tried. Oh my goodness. I I just love this. This Wait. It'll oh. be better if anyone sees you that they at least see you with me, so they know that I didn't let you just wander around by yourself. I just can't Five get over minutes, it. Please. We'll see, beauty. Just be ready to act like I'm trying to kick you out. That won't be hard. Like a lot of adult themes Listen, going maybe, on here. I assume you'll be filing some kind of an official report or something. Which is fine, it's just that I was wondering if I need to be in it. Do you have to mention my name? I mean, it's, it's not like Beast would ever see your report. It's just, well, you never know. Let me think about it. You'll do what you have to. I just want you to know that that would help me. Well, here we are. Which one was it? 207. Uh-oh, I'm hearing noises. Uh-oh. <laughs> like, these fairy tales with all these adult themes is kind of interesting. Nobody's in there? You have keys to these rooms? I thought you had a key. Not to this one. Hold on, Bigby. I can't just let you go into any room you want. Seriously, what if someone found out? I could get into a lot of trouble. I could just break in the door if you prefer. No, don't! I'll help you. Just don't break anything. <laughs> See, you do have the key, well, beauty. That's weird. This key is supposed to open every room in the building, but it's not working. Beauty! Ah, oh, shit. Beast? Big B? How could you do this to me? No, sweetie, no. Wait a minute. How could you do this? We've been together through everything. I took care of you. I love it's not what you think, please! <laughs> You're cheating on me! With him? No, no, Beast! I promise I'm not! I'm helping him, that's all! I'll bet! 
I'm sure you help each other just great. I know what this place is. I know what goes on oh, here. Let him cook. Let him cook. Stop lying to me. What the fuck is wrong with you? She's my wife. Beast, listen to me. There's nothing going on. I'm not. <laughs> I guess I finally see you for who you are. Stop! Stop it! We're a you victim here. You had seen her, you fucking liar! You've been sleeping with her this whole time! Beast! Uh-oh, his need. Oh. Ow, that hurt. What He's... the hell do you think you're doing? Yeah! I'm gonna just take I it. I told you to stop! Look at you! This is how you handle things! You're defending him? I'm trying to explain! Ah! She's my wife, Big Me! Let's let it happen! Why not? I want to see the Wolfman come out. Oh, I got a game over. Okay, so I guess we're not allowed to take it. Fine. I was. Hey, I'm a little shy now because I tore the guy's arm. Fine, fine, fine. We'll fight back, okay. We'll stab him in the eyes. We're gonna go all wolfy on him. Chat, you told me to fight. I'm fighting. Bigby, no, don't hurt him. Hit him again. Yeah, damn right I hit him when he was down. There we go. Thank you for getting us into the room. <sighs> Shit. What have you done? Bigby. Look what you did to the door. You can't just act like this whenever Stand you- Stand back. You, you don't want to see this. What the hell is going on in here? Shit. What is it? <gasps> oh my God. Don't touch anything. Is this- is this? Lily met her client here, Mr. Smith, whoever he is. And then? Must have happened right here. Jesus. Last night? Yeah? I was on shift last night. On shift? Beauty, what? I'm not a prostitute, you idiot. I work the front desk. Do you remember who rented this room last night? I don't think anyone did. Not last night. Maybe they have it long term. I don't know. How am I supposed to know? It just seemed like a totally normal night. How is that even possible? There's so much blood. Go lock the front door. Keep people out of the hallway. I need you to be sure no one comes in here. This is a crime scene, okay? But Just do what he says. You... I'll explain later, okay? You dumb idiot, beast. Yeah, it was a little messed up that he presumed she was cheating. Very messed up. Bigby. What kind of a person could do something like this? That's exactly what I'm about to try to find out. It sounds like Clementine, right, Eric? A little I different. I can't believe this. A little different, but close enough. Do all the rooms have these same clocks with a built-in cassette player? I think so, yes. Definitely looks Where the same. Where did you get that? Lily had it in her hand, in case there was any doubt over who died here. What is that? It's a book about Snow White, or about the Mundy version of her story anyway. She's beautiful. The whole book is about her? Yeah. Red Delicious, Empire Apple. 
Was she Why breathing? Is she in a glass coffin? This is the part where she's in a deep sleep, but they think she's dead. I love how there's German writing in there, too. Hmm. What's it mean? Why mark the page where she's sleeping? Hmm. I think he made up the bed to match the coffin in the picture. Flowers, too. He'd have had Lily lie down just like this. You mean just before? In the story, that's when someone comes to kiss her. That's our Mr. Smith. This is creepy. The coffin and, and a weird fixation on snow. What the hell is wrong with this guy? Indeed. <laughs> Indeed. <laughs> we are the Mundies. Yeah, we sure are. We sure are. God. Cigarettes. It's a huff and puff. I thought you were the only one who smoked that crap brand. Apparently not. Isn't Snow and Beauty a mundane? No, 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 not at all. They're fables, Sky. They're definitely fables. He brought wine. Classy. 1934 bottle, too. For my arrival. How romantic of it. To... Poor girl. Oh my god, the costume's in the closet. Someone's been rough with this dress. It's torn. Oh no, she must have been wearing it. He killed her and then and then he took it back off? He no, put her in no her real clothes. It. it must have been torn some other time. What? What are you thinking? This is the same dress as the one in the book about snow. I think Smith was dressing Lily up in it to recreate the snow from the book. You're right. It's the same dress. It fits. He's acting out scenes from the book. That poor girl. She couldn't have known. She probably just needed the money. She could have been anyone. How did she wind up here? I mean, not exactly here, but just how does a person... I, I guess it doesn't matter now. No, she's dead. It really... How she got here she has... She been so scared. Doesn't change the fact that she's dead. Is there anything else you can tell me about last night? Anything that sticks out in your mind? Sorry, no. It just seemed like every other night does. That's exactly what's bothering me. From now on, I'll just be down there imagining this. Okay, beauty, come on. You knew that there were shenanigans going on in this hotel. How can I find out who rented this room? Find whoever has the key? I'm pretty sure this one must be held long term. And we don't keep a register or anything. This place is intentionally kind of anonymous. I keep hearing that. I'd better not find out you're hiding something from me about all this. What the hell is wrong with you? I'm not involved in this! Please, just do whatever you need to do and let's get out of here. Isn't that what a guilty person would say? I'm Maybe innocent! didn't see it coming. I totally don't know what you're talking about. Uh, okay, let's see if we can put the cassette in. Let's hear what's going on here. Nice music. Bigby, this? I think I heard this music last night. It was playing pretty loudly for a while and then stopped in the middle. I didn't think twice about it at the time. I, I mean, you hear all kinds of things around here and I guess I've already gotten used to blocking them out. Could have covered up the sound of the murder. Damn it. Get it together, beauty. Be strong. Is that an apple on the floor, Lisa? Yeah, look at that. Do Thank you, you Lisa. Smell something? No, just apple. 
It's got a big old bite out of it. Oh no, there's more? What? What now? It's got a single bite taken out of it, like in Snow's story. Oh no, do you think it was poisoned? It wasn't. I'd have smelled that. I think it's just a prop. It's here because they were acting out the scene in the book. Of course. That makes perfect sense. He's just acting out another part of the book. God, I can see the whole picture now. It, it all goes together like you said. This creep put that girl in a snow white dress and, and recreated the whole story from the book with the apple and, and the deep sleep and everything. You're a better detective than I thought you'd be. <laughs> so he planned it all out. He had all the details noted down. Only then, when it comes time to kiss her and wake her up. Yeah. I hope you're just about through. I don't really want to stay in here any longer. You're welcome to leave, beauty. The birds are chirping. Oh, that's creepy. Are those pictures of the dead girl? Mm. Not all of them. How do you know? I'm in this one. It was taken last winter. Oh no. Big B. This kind of stalking, it doesn't just stop by itself. Trust me, I know about this firsthand. He'll keep trying to get closer and closer. His stand-in for Snow is gone now, so... The next step closer. What is it? It's... <gasps> Crane. Crane? Oh my god, Crane! What the hell? Next time on The Wolf Among Us. He could be after you now. Good. I am dying to get my hands on that disgusting weasel. Oh my god, ew. I'm really starting to like you, Sheriff. You're not afraid to be a complete bastard. Yeah, I did not see that coming either, Una. Obviously, there will have to be some changes. Ha <laughs> ha, Bluebeard. Hello, Bigby. Take care of it, Bigby, or I'll take care of it for you. Jesus Christ, Bigby. Is that you? Oh, the big bad wolf coming at you. Ten years of bad luck. How did you re respond? To Crane about Snow's death. You and 12% shut him down. How did you treat the murder suspect? You and 62% persuaded him to talk. Did you let Snow come with you to Trip Tap? 92 did. Did you handle Georgie Borgi? 69% of us didn't hit Georgie. Oh, look, see, I'm a pacifist. Totally makes sense. Did you keep punching Beast when he was down? Oh, okay, maybe this actually is counter to what I just said. <laughs> you and 13% hit Beast a second time. Ah, he deserved it. He's being a jerk. Hooray, we did it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, seven years bad luck? I mean, seven, ten, you know. It's all about the bad luck. <laughs>